APC flag bearer Osage Izeyamu joins me now for more on today's governorship primary election in Edo State. Many thanks for joining us on TVC News at 10 and congratulations on your victory at the primary. As it is, you have a lot of work to do as you have indicated to bring party members together. What exactly are the strategies you are adopting considering there are a lot of interests at stake? Well, uh the issues that uh, created uh, so much problem actually centered on uh, who becomes the candidate this time around. Uh, the governor had uh, declared that the second term was non-negotiable, which of course was uh, clearly anti-democratic. You cannot say that your second term is non-negotiable. To say so means that party members, party leaders, have no right in the process. Even God has no role to play. And uh, considering his uh, very bad relationship with the party leadership uh, in all the local governments, the start, that statement was unpalatable. So all the noise you were seeing were actually occasioned by him in trying to more or less enforce uh, his decision to be the candidate of the party. But that has not worked. And uh, when uh, I was asked some time ago, when do I think the problems in APC do we end? I told them clearly that uh, every problem has an expiration date. And that by the time we do our nomination, the problem will end. Uh, fortunately or unfortunately, the governor did not wait even for the primaries. He had problems with his uh, credentials, and uh, he left the party and went to the PDP. But I think that now that we have done the primaries, we would go out and reach out to all our members. And let me uh, assure our people that APC is very strong in Edo State. I know the 192 words, and I know the key players in those words people who have the respect of their communities. They are all in APC. People who have had positions before and perform very well, they are in APC. Indeed, Mr. Izeyamu, so a whole, lot, going to be very a whole lot going on uh, at this time. And as it is, in the next few days, you'll get to know those you'll be running against in the September election. And uh, the situation in Edo State, a lot of people are expressing fears because of seeming heightened tension there. What are your thoughts? I didn't quite get your question, you said. I mean, a whole lot is going on in Edo at the moment. Uh, some people are expressing concerns about uh, seemingly heightened tension in uh, that state. What are your thoughts about this development? Well, you know, people assume that uh, the primaries of today will be impossible, considering the threats of the governor and the COVID-19 regulation that they put in place. Uh, people have even suggested that we might have to postpone the primaries. But you saw what took place today. It was very successful, very peaceful. In the one and the two wars, there was no incident of violence. And uh, I want to assure you that September 19th, everything will go well. And uh, APC will win the election. You know, we are going to be very law abiding. We are not going to engage in violence. The people are with us, and uh, by the time the campaign starts, we'll reach out to them, and uh, we have no fears at all. In fact, I had mentioned that we are still calling on the governor to return back. Uh, I made the mistake he made. I left the party in anger, and I don't want him to repeat that same mistake. It's not even clear if he will get the ticket of uh, the PDP. And even if he gets it, I can assure him that he will not win. So it might be better for him to retrace his steps and come back home. Well, let's talk about your strategies for this election. This is a, a dynamic election because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, the campaign is going to be unusual. Uh, would you mind sharing your strategies uh, going forward? Well, definitely we're going to 
devise different strategies. There's no way we can be doing uh, the big rallies we used to be used to going to. We are not going to have any major state rally, major local government rally. So it's going to be more of door to door. We have to bring out our agenda and send it to people. We have to do more interviews on TV, do more talk shows on radio, send messages uh, via test. So certainly the strategy this time will be different, but it will, it will require really interfacing with the people. It's going to be more tedious, but uh, it will be an opportunity too for the people to assess us and uh, know if they can trust us. For me, it's good because it will get the people more involved. And I foresee greater turnout because the people this time, we know that we are reaching them in their, in their homes. Unlike the past when we just meet them in the crowd. All right, let's talk about you. So now, it's people, going to be very interesting. Okay, uh, people say you've been a member of the PDP and the APC at different times. Uh, the last time an election held in Edo State, you contested on the platform of the PDP. Now you are in the APC. Is it about pursuance of good governance or about personal ambition, Mr. Sagezeyam? No, certainly I've always told people that my main objective in politics is to be able to assess government for the benefit of my people. There's no way I'm going to achieve what I want to achieve if I'm outside the system. And there's no room for independent uh, candidates. Uh, I've always believed in uh, progressive uh, politics. I was a member of uh, the ACN. We actually formed uh, the APC. And uh, when I left the party, it was not because of uh, ideological differences. I was just dissatisfied with the way the Congress then was done. And my followers who felt short-charged felt we should leave. So we left out of anger. But I'm happy that I'm back home. And the uh, APC is very well entrenched in Edo State and in our country. Uh, the governor was a beneficiary of the APC platform, tried to uh, more or less derail the party. But I think things are back on track. And, uh, I'm sure that uh, we'll be able to tell the people what we want to do and give them uh, the kind of uh, government that they'll be proud of. All right, flag bearer of the we APC in the forthcoming Edo State governorship election, Osage Izeyamos. Thank you very much for talking to us on TVC News at 10.